Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News. The ability to make people laugh in an organized setting is what many Nigerians identify as comedy, even though there could be slight variations to this definition in different parts of the world. That's not the story, however. The main gist is the phenomenal transformation that's taken place over the past 30 years in Nigeria's slapstick comedy industry. The legendary Alibaba, who, by the way, is still going as strong as ever, is reputed to be the champion of this movement. But the frontiers of the new industry are now being expanded by many characters, including that of Tata the witty female character on radio who reacts to societal situations with an eerily uncanny humorous voice. We're now being joined by Dr. Helen Paul, actor, comedian, musician, businesswoman and mother. She is the voice behind the Tatafo character that's been thrilling millions of Lagosians for a number of years. Most significantly, Helen Paul is a doctorate degree holder from the University of Lagos. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Good morning. Yes, well, Thank you. First, let me say that... Uh, you are in character. <laughs> as Alaja as Don Jassy. I asked and you told me you wanted Alaja <laughs> Don Jassy. So that's why we come here today. <laughs> Brilliant. No, but I mean, let's, uh, let's just uh, start with your life story. You are the first uh, stand-up comedian to take a PhD. That shows a lot of determination, considering the rigor that goes into uh, academic research. And then you are at the same time into fashion, into the selling of things. You know, you you have a, a fabric uh, shop, right? And then you are on television as a presenter. You do these skates, you know. And then you are when you get to Mrs. Bamishile <laughs> <laughs> and a mother, you know. How do you juggle all of this? Um, I follow the scriptures that says I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Uh, Elijah is quoting the. Uh, you said Elijah Donjasi, <laughs> and I came as Elijah Donjasi, and now you are asking about my PhD, and that's not Elijah Donjasi. Okay. The character that has PhD is Helen Paul. Okay. So now you're talking to Helen Paul, so I might have to go and change for Helen Paul. That's why I asked over the phone, do you want Helen Paul or you want Elijah Donjasi? And you said you wanted Elijah Donjasi. Oh, but you know, there are many sides to your personality. There's the academic side, there's the performative <laughs> side, you know, and you can, as an the, actress, the, you can wear any cap at the, any moment. No, I can't wear any cap, you know. <laughs> the academic side is in university <laughs> setting. But the entertainment side is Alaja Don Jassy, who is a sister to Ellie Paul, the doctor. <laughs> but how did you come about? This idea of Alaja Don Yassi, which has caught public imagination. I play with different characters. Yeah. Aside from Helen Paul, um, I enjoy imitating people. So I've done Tata Four for years. Mm -hmm. uh, after a while, I switched to Chukuka, the general merchandise. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to Chief Kulenio. Mm -hmm. Then I moved to um, that, um, um, Rebecca. Then from Rebecca, I have moved. So Alaja Don Jassy, mm -hmm. then I just have different characters. But how did you come about Don Jassy? You know there is a, a music producer who That's is famously known as Don Jassy. That's Don Jassy. Me, I am Alaja Don Jassy. What is the meaning of Don, Don Jassy? Don Jassy, so we are fresh and we are exposed. <laughs> 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 okay, Alaja, so it seems like, okay, I'm going to go, not an academic question, very related to what you do, but the last, um, the last government had put in or promised $600 million into investments in the entertainment industry, and it gave people a lot of confidence, especially people in Nigeria that are creatives and were trying to push their talents because people felt that finally they had access to funds, and the entertainment industry is one of our biggest boosts in the country, if not our greatest industry at this point. Do you, do you feel like entertainers and people in the entertainment industry are getting that same support today? Do you, do you feel open to support from the governments? Do you feel like your career is being boosted? Or is it taking a strain on you to make sure that you can continue to put out what you put out as a creative? The English is plenty. <laughs> I know, you know, I saw, I I saw something anything. like that coming. All I don't get, do you rich, 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 And I hear the government give them money, and I hear that you're calling people to it. So which one is the question? Because this thing was like, you read news, and you know you look up cast. So you all will know. I am. Okay, so, okay, so I'll you are. Back. Do you? 
So you are. Wow. Do you do you feel like you're getting enough support from the government in terms of investment in Who the are the government? That's one question that will help me. Are you interviewing me? It's, it's, <laughs> this life is better. We have to understand. I don't understand. The truth is, who yeah. are the government that drop money? Mm -hmm. I need to know the name of person that drop money. When did the person drop money? The thing is, we are very quick to pointing finger to people and say, this person is the owner of my problem. Who did they give money? How far the yes and how far the yes? We've always hear government drop money in the entertainment industry. Who be the people? Where be the entertainment industry? I don't know if you understand my point of uh, perception. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, who are the people that government are called government that give who and who money? Because the truth is, all these things in paper, <laughs> we still believe a boo. We do not know. The truth is, everybody is selfish. Me too, I can go to government and tell somebody that, ah, hello, but Mr. Government, my name is Entertainment, and I will collect money and I will do my mouth shrink. Everybody is a thief. It's the person that cash there that is Parawo, my sister. Let's leave the matter of money. Then the issue of people, because money is in place, they now want to be encouraged to join the place. That is not a good thing. I am very, very sure, I'm sorry, oh, that when you live abroad and you came to this station in Nigeria, it's not your kind of money that you expect that you are getting. But the truth is that because you are passionate about that job, you understand? So you come. You understand? To work. Even if they tell you your salary will be suspended two months, no sponsorship or fenta, you are the kind of person that is passionate about the job. And by yourself, you keep coming to come and lending the job more and more. Do you understand? So when the benefit come, you couldn't have know when the benefit will land on your table. So it shouldn't be the money that one government or one somebody is dropping that should encourage some people to call too low. I don't know who no, That's a that. very good point of view. Uh -huh. point so of view. the truth is that leave government. All of us we are government. They say for the people are the people who are the people for the definition according to government. But the truth is we are all government. Government don't want to leave hoy. Let you face hoy. Let us be entertainment. But the truth is, it's our entertainment reflecting the society. Because that is what entertainment is meant for. Entertain, educate, and inform people. Are we doing those kind of things? That's why I don't talk to anybody. I don't stay in my shop because I don't want Wahala. I stay in my shop fees and I report everything that happened. Hang on my shop fees in main to a show complex. That's all I do. I have no business with anybody. I am very angry. Elijah, some of uh, Thank you. the people who follow you on Instagram, uh, they've been saying uh, that uh, you are making fun of Elijah's, that you are creating an image of Elijah's. What is the definition, uh, what is the definition of the word Elijah? Someone who travel and come back. Uh, well, but they, Everybody is a traveler. They are, they are giving it a religious thing, you know, linking it to the Islamic religion. It's a, it's a psychology. You are linking it to religion. Is that religion that bad? How do you want to spoil things that is very sweet? To me, left to me, I love that religion. And you'll be very shocked. I can do the prayer of that religion. I went and researched on that religion. I'm a theater practitioner. And as a theater practitioner, you do not have a religion. Any character can be given to you to play. That's why I love actors, more than doctor and lawyer. Because actors can wear their costume that they always feel that it's a big club. We wear it any how we like. I can decide to be a judge tomorrow. It's a costume. It's a life that I want to reenact. Do you understand? Life is what we are doing, it's a reenactment of what happened in reality. <laughs> so let me reenact the thing I want to reenact. Stop tying it to religion. It's not that bad. Are we do we have some bad people who have that name Elijah? Yes or no? The fact that you are Elijah does not mean you are perfect. The fact that you are Elijah does not mean you can't get angry or you can't hit body on the road. You understand? So everybody should please soft their pedal. I know they are angry with government, but they should not pass it to Elijah Donjasi. They should leave you in peace. They should not leave me. <laughs> Let me be on my own. Alaja, what do you think as well about the lack of comedy clubs that we have across the country as well? The lack of what? Comedy clubs. Would what you like club? to see? Comedy clubs, where comedians like you club, gather. Club, yes. club, club. Call the club. Shop fees. Comedy <laughs> shop fees. <laughs> it doesn't stop for you, but I know you. Well, you say the lack of. There's no lack. You. Everybody have club now. Oh, my baba have comedy club. 
Kofi have comedy club. Many people have comedy club that they do. Maybe you should just seek for it on social media. You will see. So you find them often? There are plenty now, often. Mm. Yes. That's good. You are welcome. <laughs> Well, this market, you know, your depiction of what goes on in the market in is, my so, is yeah. so accurate. So, have you uh, been in, uh, you know, a local market before? To uh... I have been selling now for many years, mm. and most of my shops, shop fees are in the market. Mm. Like me now, I have here in Tejo Show. Inside Tejo Show is my shop. I, I observe what happened in the society. How could you say you don't see things? I see things. Why many people come to confide in me? And I try to keep that secret secret. Do you hear anything from me? But I see that these characters, you know, you do one, eh. you do a number of skits. Yes. After some time, you drop it. Yes. You move on to another one. Yes. I mean, uh, Chief uh, Colenio. That's a politician. Yes, people were enjoying Chief Colenio, and all of a sudden, Elijah Don Jassy showed up, you know. Chief uh, Colenio is a politician who lose election. Okay. And since they lose the election, what happens when they don't uh, win? Mm. Do you see them at function? Mm. They go inside. So that's why Chief Colonia go inside. So it's likely to come back in 2023? It's possible. It will definitely come back. We've been contributing money for a poster. Because <laughs> we are the one that told him, don't come out. If you come out, may they not lock you 45 days in prison because you spoke. So we have to be careful. Very careful. So, out of all the characters that you have enacted, what would you say your favorite character has been so far? Ellen Paul. Uh, Ellen Paul is not. Now a, I'm confused. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's, that's your, your natural sister. character. Ellen Paul is a stand-up comedian. Okay. The other ones are not standing. They like, like they don't just sit down comedian. You sit down to talk at all. Tatafo is radio. Chukuka, the general merchandise, is a businessman. Alaja Donjasi is a business woman. Tata Fotu is a radio person. So they all have their character. A kite, mabon, all of them. They are Instagram people. But Elipo is a stand up comedian. He's the one that goes outside, he's the one that talks to people. Yes, I mean, I, I know many of your famous uh, you know, uh, videos out there. Uh, from the one uh, about uh, former first lady. Uh, Mrs. Jonathan, to so many others that are in circulation. And then, you know, you just generate that laughter like that. You know, okay, now the question that relates to your training, you know, what for you constitutes the aesthetics of laughter, which is one of the things we teach in aesthetics? It depends on the way you see life, your beauty, the way you observe things, and the way you can reenact it. That's my own. There's even tragedy can be turned to comedy, it depends. I went for a barrier one day, and... Um, the woman, very my friend, she like, oh, Helen, I'm grateful you came. Helen, thank you for coming. But Helen, why me? <laughs> and I told her, stop crying now. But she's not me that it should happen to now. Why are you asking me why me? So she started laughing. And, you are crazy. I didn't mean to be. That is you. Uh, so from that, from, it depends on how you see things, how you can, uh, how you can, sometimes things are beautiful to us, sometimes things are not beautiful to us. So it depends on your perspective. Absolutely, and making people laugh is one of the hardest things ever. I don't which think is why so. This is what I wanted to ask you, because people often say comedians have one of the hardest jobs in the world because they have to make people laugh. Do you think it's by nature that someone is a comedian, or do you think someone can actually grow into a comedian? In any business you are doing, you can grow. You can train any business you want to train, if your interest is there. That's why I say in life, it's tragedy or comedy. Mm. So you have to pick what you how you want to perceive life. Anybody can be whatever they want to be. For me, comedy first is a gift. So everybody is serious and play. For the PhD I was having for, and even when they condemn me and I defend my thesis and they say things, I'm busy. <laughs> I shall know that I will graduate one day. You know, that's a feel. And even the director of this program was my classmates uh, during masters, you know. And He's always looking at me like, Helly, are you serious? Where they are fighting lecturer, I'm busy making noise, I'm laughing. You know? So I, I, don't, I don't take things serious, and it's been working for me. Anyway, some, like people, that, some people would take like things serious would, and won't we'll work for let's them. Let's take a commercial break, and then yeah. we'll come back. Okay. No tea in this program. <laughs> we'll, come in. we'll be right back. Welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News Channel. Still with us is Dr. Helen Paul, popularly known as Elijah Donjasi, and we'll be discussing entertainment with her. 
Naja don't just say, I want to put you to a test. This is not a viva force, you know. Uh, if you could recreate for us and for our viewers, you know, some of the characters from Tatafu to Chukuka to Chief Koleni, or, and then you cap it with Alaja Donjasi. Ah, the problem is you invited Alaja Donjasi, uh -uh. and that's who came. Tatafu, you have gone to school, they're having tests <laughs> for summer tests. Yeah, that's I told her to go. Uh, Chief Koleni is a politician, he's not in the field now, he's on rest, on leave. Uh, but Alaja is here. And I think Shukuka came with Alaja as PA. <laughs> so we can see yeah, but, Shukuka in action. But we've, in a way. Mm. Yeah, but we've been seeing uh, Alaja Donjasi. You also act in uh, movies. Yes. Um, I've seen you in quite a number. Uh, which of these movies will you say is your favorite? Or the ones that, uh, you know, uh, give you the best in terms of scope and Ah, my best movie, my best movie, I will not lie, is the one that happened this morning. That's the Arise News. <laughs> it's not a movie. This is a TV interview. It's not a movie. Who <laughs> said it's not a movie? Uncle Ruben. Who are the, who are the characters? Are Let, the me character the character. <laughs> Let me give you the character. Let me give you the character. Nigerian foremost, most popular, iconic journalist. <laughs> Swoke, a half cast journalist. <laughs> Who come together on a set to talk to an unserious personality? Is that not a movie? We have director, we have cameraman, we have everybody. Audience are looking at us. It's a perfect movie. That's my best. But tell us something about the Ellen Paul Academy. The Ellen Paul uh, Academy. What do you do there and how is it doing? Do you have any support for it? Okay, uh, in my place where may I come from, which is my country, it's not a place they support. Uh, young uh, coming like that, truthfully. They want to see that you have gotten to a bigger place where they see that your money is dropping, that they will not say they want to tap so that they can also collect from you. Do you understand? So I always tell young people, try and run your thing yourself. Keep pushing. Keep going. It will surely come to pass. Then in terms of academic business, it's a big problem. The people, especially the teenagers or youths, are not ready to learn, but mm. they want to blow. They mm. want to just become star today. Where you see a child saying, please mentor me. Once you welcome the child, okay, let mentor. They begin to ask, ma, you've not taken me out to meet so-so person. I've not met Jellyviv. I've not met, I didn't know your friends. And I'm asking questions like, I don't understand. Are we on this job or you came to meet? So I've had students come in and once they pay the school fees, they expect that, ah, my when would we start featuring in film? And I'm asking, what are the rudiments to acting? Give us elements of acting, and they don't know. So I said, so when you get there, how do you use it? So that's why I said that of recent, they come and they rent for like six, seven months, and they are out again because they do not know about the business. Do you understand? So the business of academic is not easy. But if it was entertainment I was doing, of course I would get many investors. Of course I would get companies to invest. Of course, I will get people to say, uh, come at, for Alaja don't just see now, it's less than two months. Mm. I started getting people saying they want to endorse Alaja. They want Alaja to do skit for them. But if it's anything academic, you won't see. After the PhD, what next? You didn't, I won't see people come and say, oh, hey, Helen, come. Let's um, do, what do we do? Let's endorse Dr. Helen. They don't want that. They don't want academic. They want just something that was already easy for them to tap into. Mm. So I'm still into the business. And in Paul Theatre and Film Academy, the reason I did theatre and film is because even the film that we have today started from theatre, um, from the Greek period of acting and all the act of reenactment, started from the Greek period. So of course, you must, yes. Yeah, so you must have an idea of theatre. You must have an idea of how to make use of your voice, uh, your vocal cords, your body, how to speak very well. You must have a good voice for you to be, you know, on stage. And if you have that, once you get to the film. You just, you know, bring it down a little and apply that. So most times we don't have that. So that's why of recent you have people acting movies with a very bad voice. Mm -hmm. And of course they are qualified. Then they begin to blame sound. Sound, sound, sound. My, my voice sounds cracky. And I'm like, no, your voice is not good. But nobody will tell you your voice is not good. You know? So I, I put theater. You must have an idea of theater before coming into film. And so we do, we do sound. We do editing. We do graphics. Um, we do costume. And in my costume department, we do not do costume for you telling me to wear yellow and green and you think that's perfect. You must learn to sew in the costume department. 
We do makeup, and the makeup is not for you to just draw eyebrow. You must know how to do effective um, if, um, yeah. makeup effects. Theater you know? arts makeup. You must know how to do different types because it is applicable also to film. Then we also have artist management department where we teach you how to manage your gift. We, we also teach the marketing parts of that business. But most people don't. So we always get students coming to say, just acting. Mm. Yeah, but <clears throat> what do you think of this crisis that we seem to have in the uh, theater industry, where the stage, which is the original arena, uh, seems to be disappearing and has been yeah. overtaken by the Nollywood uh, phenomenon? How do we, do you, you know, think we can reinvent the stage? Okay, sincerely, that's what I wrote about um, during PhD. Okay. Um, right. and, um, from Alani Joe to Nollywood. From, yes, but, yeah. I, so, but my own perspective was from, um, from stand-up comedy. I just wrote stand-up comedy as an alternative form of theater in Nigeria. Okay. Because the stand-up comedy shows we have these days, of course, applies all the um, forms of theater from the stage. So right now we see them using the trust stage, like the fashion show stage, they use it. Um, we see them using Which the theater. Which gives you more engagement round. with yes. the audience. Yes, yeah. they use the theater in the round form where you have um, Bumi Devi, Stand Up Nigeria, mm -hmm. and AY. Most especially, they use a lot of theater um, um, applications in the stand-up shows, using the boxing ring as a stage, and everybody surrounds it, you know. So those styles, the stand-up comedians are applying it, and it's really working. So it makes people still remember the theater form. Um, now we use the found space, which is the uh, popular place they all use. Uh, so it doesn't have to be in the national theater as we all know it, but the theater is still functioning. So the question I asked and I was able to resolve is how do we bring in these contemporary stand-up comedy shows, the AY Life and the Bumi Davis Stand Up Nigeria, and bring it together yeah. with the, um, our own conventional the theater proscenium. that we have from the proscenium, because everybody just believes it's the proscenium that makes the theater. Mm -hmm. We have different types of stages. We have the trust stage, theater in the round, uh, proscenium stage. We have um, um, and on the pro of all, all, all these stages. We have some that will use the psychorama and those that will not use the psychorama. Do we understand the usage of lights? Most people don't. But for many shows, for, I will specifically say for AY show, he uses all those technical um, all the technicalities um, that has been applied in the theatre. Maybe because he studied theatre as well, so he's sound in applying it to performance. So I would say theatre is not dead, it's just that, okay, maybe not the conventional plays that we have, but it's still, it's still in practice. But how do we make it bigger is the thing. How do we make that market space bigger and popular is the knowledge. Because for the stage, for the show, for AY Life, he does a lot of reenactment. There was a time he did the... Um, reenactment of what happens in politics. He did that over so some shows. There's another show he did that where he reenacted the Rube Bay, where they counted election results and all of that. So it's still reenactments. Only that now we have most people come out as one man um, actors. Yes, but you see, where, you know, my focus is yes, where our stand up comedy may be working, still on the stage. But actual performance. It's still the on the Bolalio Austin Peter. The, the type, yeah. The, the type on the scale. Still doing Bola 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 we have people doing it. Only that most people believe that if things are not taking place in Lagos, it's not working. We have people doing it. Uh, Paul Adams is doing one in Abuja very soon this October, I think on the 30th. So we have beautiful stage performances still going on. We have people still inviting theater performers to, uh, performers to please come to America, UK, you know, to come perform. So the theater thing is not dead. Only that focus is more on the film because of the money, money. on in it. So the passion, people that are passionate, we have Ade Fila, Shegu Ade Fila, who is still doing the theater for over 15 years and is still on it. And is still making money from it. So it's functional. The noise, you know, is just not much. Yeah, uh, that's, um, that's, that's fair enough because there's, there's so much that goes into it. But really and truly, we have Nigerian players that have even made it across the shores and gone on tour in different countries. Um, but when it comes to stand-up comedy in Nigeria, there are often criticisms towards the thin line between a joke and an offence. And a lot of people have problems because they feel as though comedians, far more often than not, are crossing that line. And it's no longer a joke, it's an offense. Do you think that 
maybe there's also a lack of enlightenment when it comes to how you go about comedy that a lot of people should learn. The same way we speak about theater and actually going to a theater performing arts school to learn certain things that actually give you the full grounding to do what you're doing. Do you see that thin line being crossed far too often? Well, for me, there was a time I did something and decided to cross the line. The truth is we're very touchy here and we're very emotional. When it concerns us, we don't want. But when it concerns other people, we enjoy it and we laugh. There's nothing on this earth that you talk about that is not affecting one person or the other. Do you understand what I'm saying? We get angry too easily. So that's why sometimes, um, on a playful note, I always carefully select the events I want to attend. When I have people calling me, telling we want you for a show, I'm asking what kind of show. So like, oh, I've been trying to call you since. You were not picking. Ah, thank God you picked this one. Oh, I've heard the tone. I don't want you. No matter the amount you're bringing. Because by the time I come, you will tell me, you didn't pronounce my father's name very well. My father's name is not Erubebe. My father's name is Erubebe. <laughs> so, and at that point, what I'm asking, if a white man comes and calls, I say, Mr. Erubebe, you, you would laugh. You would accept it. You know? Uh -huh. So we, yeah. don't, we don't really welcome each other like that. So I'm always very careful the kind of people I go into the shows. You won't see me everywhere. You hardly will catch me on the red carpet because I don't want people to misinterpret my dress. And I might want to go on red carpet like this and that. Sis. Then you have some people organizing show. Maybe there's no content. They begin to analyze. The rings, I, I think, is quite too much. The wristwatch is quite too much. And I'm asking, are you blind to see there's a character outfit I'm wearing? You know, so we get angry easily and we try to judge easily. So that, I, 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 won't, prepare, I won't talk um, more than I can't lie, the two, two watches is really making me laugh. It's not easy because <laughs> I, use, I, I use Dubai time. I buy markets in Dubai and I use the Nigerian time so mm. I can know when they will deliver. Wow. So what goes <laughs> well, into the know, creation? Okay, yeah. You, you know, um, the thing to add to, add to that is that comedy is the most intellectual of the forms. Yes. And comedy mm -hmm. is for those who think. Mm -hmm. Tragedy it's is for, for those who, who feel, feel who are poor. So if you see a comedy, if you don't think around it, exactly. you might not get it. So some people, they don't get, get the joke until but, they get home. But Elijah, don't just <laughs> let us take a, a short break. And then uh, when we come back, we'll be taking a, a look at one of uh, our popular skits. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Well, uh, welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. Still with us in the studio is Dr. Helen Paul, popularly known as Elijah Donjansi. And you just uh, watched uh, one of our skits there on the screen. Now, Elijah Donjansi. I won here. <laughs> now, as an artist, because, you know, one of the things uh, we talk about is the functionality of African art. You yes, know. sir. Uh, what is the kind of message? that you try to communicate to society. I know that's the job of the critic to do the analysis, but asking you as the artist, uh, what's your focus? When you do all these skits, is it just realism or realism with a dose of, you know, messaging? Specific? Like you have said, it's entertainment. And what is entertainment known for? It's known for education, information, and, you know, uh, you know, uh, to also make you laugh, to entertain you. You understand? So that is the thing I just enjoy doing. It's somebody's story, as I hear it, oh, I say, ha. Ah. So that my friends don't know, go do mistake. And I bring it up on a very free and lovely platform, which is Instagram. Gone are the days where television will choose you to say, will not help you to be popular because person is a manager. Now, anybody can be popular, you're going to give you the gift. Just buy data, and begin to post. <laughs> <laughs> very, very true. But what goes, what goes into the creation of a character and a script? How long does it usually take you to come up with these ideas and bring it to life? Observation. Once I see somebody like you, now I can imitate you, but I will not do it today. <laughs> You no, I would like to it. see you no, data. I, I <laughs> tell you, tell you, once you pay me, I will do it. <laughs> once you do it, you pay me now. Nah, nah, my money is not expensive. One hundred thousand. Once you give me, I'll do it now. Now, Janti, uh, uh, that will wish my head now. Nah, now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will offer you protection since I'm between the okay, two. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's the creator that can give protection. <laughs> <laughs> well, if she wants to jump across, you know, I'll hold stop her. Me. <laughs> nah, you'll be shocked that will beat her. <laughs> you know you both cannot fight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, what next? Mm. Um, I have no influence. Oh, OK. Uh, yeah, what okay. goes into the creation of a character and a script? For me, it's mm. a gift. I love to imitate people. 
And of course, when you want to imitate, you must have keen sense of observation. Your keen sense of observation must be very high. So I'm very observant. I'm seeing everything, and I'm smiling. So I'm picking the ones that are making me laugh and the ones that are sweet. So I hardly will see the tragedy side of it. So I love to, you know, um, laugh. So I just see you, and I, you know, I've seen it. So if I'm giving a role to act, all I need to do again is to bring it back. So once I, you have a keen sense of, a keen sense of observ observation, you must also have a great memory to call it back whenever it's needed for you to play it back. So yeah. the keen sense of observation, memory to recall, you know, would also help. And that helps me in playing out my roles. You sound like a Stanislavski method actor. Uh, Emotional I, memory, observation. Yes, I, I, I apply the Stanislavski um, style. I apply the Grotowski style. I apply... I love Anthony Arthur's method. Anthony Arthur. Uh -huh. So I, 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 I apply all styles once... Um, it depends on the word I want to use part time. Okay. Well, I mean... Um, what next? What next? Scholarship, acting, business, motherhood. Motherhood. What next? Uh, Another baby or mother, teaching in the on, university. On or... motherhood, uh, children should keep coming. I want to have like 300 children. <laughs> on scholarship, Professor right now is starting on the way. On which one? Market part. I want to keep selling. Going to Dubai, I'll be buying market. On which one again? <laughs> <laughs> on radio and TV presentation, I am still going to be getting better. We will not live, we we'll die there. If the money is correct. But all of this, uh, you know, you've talked about money about twice now on this program. Ah, no, How profitable is for, it? For, for. Are, you, are you about to, uh, you know, compete with Dangote? Dangote Robert? is a young boy, who is he? <laughs> you know, I thought the guy is begging to be my friend. Who are they? <laughs> Jad has that. No, 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 no. This person here, uh, Alakija is my friend. And I've warned her, be careful, I'm coming. You know, she's like, do you know what I want to build? I'm not trying to build houses like that. I want to build different roundabouts. <laughs> and I'll make sure my picture is in the middle. Who are they? <laughs> uh, young children. Who are they? Uh-uh. Let's speak about what's next for comedy as well in Nigeria. What do you see for the future of the comedy industry? It's only a food that's in the future. Everything belongs to the Almighty, the Creator. So let's cast our case and believe that all will be perfect and fine. But, I mean, at some point... Uh... Mm -hmm. Uncle you may. you've not changed. You know, when you're in <laughs> politics, there are 30 things we have to look at when talking about share Odin. Um, you know, the, the government have been able to... <laughs> you know my change. Baba, stop spread out. <laughs> Baba, when will you remove shirts? I just wear T-shirts to preserve. No suits, nothing like that. Or no tie. That's how you call. Hello, hello. Um, are you still available for Monday? I'm like, ah, my wife, let go. Oh, wow. <laughs> but what, what will you say to government, the Nigerian government? That because... came, came down with the voice. <laughs> <laughs> you change changed the voice now. <laughs> you know, in other parts of the world, government supports culture. Yes. You know, and that's the whole point about cultural policy. I and disagree that governments um, in other not countries. I disagree even here that governments are not. And if a body, if people are not organized, please, how do they support? Who is the person they are meant to give money that we can trust? When you're told, when you tell them pick a leader, everyone is fighting to be the leader. For the stand-up comedy, I can entrust things to an Alibaba, to an AY, or to a Bumi, because I've seen them lead. And over the years of Benga Denka, they are, they are icons, Julius Ago, they are people that you, you have. In this body, you, when you pick in uh, maybe a committee, these are the people, of course, you will pick. But when you're talking about entertainment in general, please point to me. Who are the people? You must have a great... When you're talking about entertainment, you're not talking about just acting. So sometimes they it's give like um, actors money and they say, oh, they've given entertainment, entertainment industry money. But we're talking about enter the entertainment industry. The visual artist is an entertainer. The dancer is an entertainer. The stand-up comedian is an entertainer. Musicians are an entertainer. Um, actors are entertainers. It's large. It's a, it's, a, it's a large... When you're talking about entertainment in general. Is large. So who are the people they should drop the money? That's why I don't like talking and I say, please, just, just leave it. Mm. If we're talking about entertainment industry and talking about government, who is the person they are dropping this thing? If, of course, they should have a body. For the lawyers, they have the MBA um, carcass. So when you're saying you're supporting the lawyers in Nigeria, you know where to go to. When you're talking about the doctor's association, when you're going to on strike, you know where to face. So when you're talking about entertainment, please, let's break it. Is it the comedy entertainment side? music side, the theater, let's, let's, let's have it. 
I'm talking about, so it does, the body has to be strong in its own. There was a time it was P-man for music, but I don't know what's happening now. So everybody was... So but will you recommend an umbrella body, say something like the Guild of Nigerian Artists, which covers, you know, everybody? <laughs> for because now, I'm too young There isn't a guild there. in place. Yeah. I'm actually too young. I just realized now that what I was talking about is more than my age. <laughs> Anyway, Leila. Okay, so tell <laughs> us... Hey, your name is Yela. Leila. Leila. Ah, I thought I heard Yela. <laughs> <laughs> so what is Alaja doing for the rest of the week? Uh, Alaja is going to the shop. I asked some people who do booking. Mm. You know, we do I show okay. We do all sorts. This one is playing. We are not seeing myself. The video of you. But they can hear you. People can hear me. Yes. How yes, they distract them <laughs> from Alaja in the shop, Alaja in real life? <laughs> it's a serious no, thing. You're back. They want Alaja back. So Alaja is selling the market. Mentor Joe Show Shopping Complex. You can come. And the Mentor Joe Show is a uh, shop C2060. We sell accessories. We sell ring. We sell wrist washing. We sell gold. We sell things. So you can come. Mentor Joe Show Shopping Complex is now big for everybody to come inside. To come and buy things. You understand? Mm. My mother is here, Lord, that worldwide. You understand? Me, I will be here, Lord, in Dubai. That's where I'm reacting to campaign. I want to go to Dubai and be there, Lord, there, not in Nigeria. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, to bring this to a close, let me ask you a, a question, which I've seen you respond Uncle to. Ruben, some what other of this question are you trying to ask? You know, in Nigeria now, rape is uh, quite a serious problem. Why are you talking about rape? How is it a serious It's been happening for years. And um, all I know is that they should help us penalize the people that are involved in it properly. Uton. Okay, but, some, right, that's it. but some people say, well, it's the young ladies themselves who, uh, you know, cause the problem because of the way they dress these days. They, you, you know, young Nigerian girls don't dress like Alajas. That's what they I'm saying. They dress like, uh, so you it's know. It's just like you saying that it's the fault of the fire. If fire is catching somewhere, why do you off it? So it's never when they are burning paper, why not say you want, when you are walking on the road and in the middle of the road they are burning tire, why not still keep walking straight because your journey is straight and pass the fire to go? Why do you bend? <laughs> I said, everybody is just trying to point finger. Why are you bend? You know where you are going, focus and go. Somebody wear Millie's skirt, you should not wear cloth again. Do you think we'll ever surpass that level of victim shaming that we have? Because it's, it's so inherent. Yeah, I don't have shame, I will say everything. You know? Like I said, my own that time on paper. I will say it, I don't care. So there's nothing like shame. Say it. Let's penalize the person. You know, say like that, don't just see me. Everything have a balance. If you do evil, you shop evil. If you do good, you shop good. It's waiting for you in front. It's whatever you want to be. Me, I will not even tell you that because of the bad thing of rape that you have done. I will constantly well, play. Thank you I very will much. pray that you are put on your children. She came. Well, Alaja, thank you thank very much. You. Uh, we have to go at this point. You're welcome. I'm glad. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. Thank you.